are feeling okay this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whatever time of the day you are watching it. And um, as we are leaving this um, COVID-19 lockdown, I'm sure you are questioning um, everything every time during the day when you are waking up, when you are going out to the park for a walk or you're going to shop, either it's a safe place to be or you have to still keep farther distance from other people. Um, either you should leave your home or not. All those questions are pumping up into your head and you are not sure what you should be doing. Well, listen to your heart, go with your intuition and do what feels appropriate for you. Keep the distance, go to the places where, which are less crowded. And if you don't want to go to a shop, I'm sure you're gonna find somebody who can deliver food to you. And, um, and if you are waking up in the morning and you feel like, oh my God, so many things I have to do. I have to start running my online business. How am I going to do? How am I going to set up the website? Or how am I going to do the webinars and uh, live streaming? And how am I going to put some courses online if you are a yoga teacher or any other teacher? And all that is just uh, overwhelming you. Well, that's fine. You stop, start step by step. Come down and plan what you need to do in order to get somewhere. Either in your personal goal, it's happening the same with the professional goals, and look at the website, uh, which is the most similar to what you would like to do. Uh, then you go for the YouTube tutorials and find out how to set up the website, how to set up the webinars or uh, live streaming, uh, live conferences, how to use the Zoom. And everything is available out there for you. So it's not that you have to build up empire from the beginning. You're just going to go with the flow. You do your education first. And then step by step, as you learn throughout the process online, you will be able to do what you want to do. Do not allow yourself to be completely overwhelmed by so many tasks in your head. And we all have that. I wake up and say, oh my God, I would need to do this, 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 this. How am I going to do it? Actually, look back and see what you have already created. Be grateful for what you have already done. And you will find out that you have found that you have done a lot, a lot. So just go back in your mind within the year, two years distance, or how many years of distance you want to go back in your mind. Reflect on your achievement. Do not stick to your failures. There are no failures. They are not good or bad. They are things the way they are and the way they are, they are meant to be. And the situation you are in, it is the situation you are meant to be in. I know it's very hard to say uh, because we are living in such an uncertain uh, world now with the COVID-19. Who would have ever expected it to happen? But yes, this is happening for the reason. And everybody has a different reason why it's happening for you. So either... Um, well, if you are affected by the virus because you have it, then of course, um, then hopefully you are going to recover. Everything will be fine. If not, this is also our destiny. We have to face the death. That's what we are learning nowadays. And if you are okay and you are in the comfort of your home, why not? do things what you need to do if your head is spinning around like crazy so just turn off all the media social media tv um, news for one day just be with yourself with yourself with your thoughts process do some movement exercise go to the park go for a run go for a uh, go for cycling do something you like detach. Do uh, create a, your own retreat. 
then maybe you need two days, three days off like that. Take this time off. This is a great opportunity to take time off. Maybe you need to have one week retreat. You know, when you go to the yoga retreats, sometimes they are in silence. You are not supposed to listen to anything. You are just following the guidelines of your teacher, doing some yoga, meditation. I, when I run retreats, we tend to stay away from internet, from our phones, uh, unless we really need to reach for them. So they are, we are checking um, if everything is fine at home, uh, at the company, and so on. But yes, create your own retreat. You can have it in the comfort of your home. Look up some um, videos on YouTube. Do some practices, yoga, meditation, Pilates. Those practices are mind-body practices. They help you to reconnect with yourself. So get out there. Retreat yourself. Take time off because you have holiday now. This is the holiday for most of us. And go on your own retreat. This is my advice. And everything will become clear in your, have, in your head after you had that space for yourself. Saying that, I would like to do some practice with you. We're just going to do a very unusual practice. This, is, uh, pra this practice releases stress. And it's a quite uh, intense practice. But it's my favorite, the inversions are very detoxifying practices and they uh, boost up your um, immune system, but also they balance your energy. So you go high, uh, down, and then you balance. So what I would like you to do, I would like you to go to inversion by the wall, unless you don't need the wall. So I'm going to do headstand using the wall. You can either watch it or you can join me if you feel like. So I'm going to face the wall. That is away from the wall. Hand distance. Hands are beside your body, beside your ears. Then as you lift your legs up, your back is attached to the wall. You extend your legs in split. You can point your feet or flex. So you're fully supported by the wall. The legs now are supported by the wall as well. You are reaching up to the ceiling with your toes. Engage your stomach muscles, point toes up. Now you start lifting hands off the wall. Hold and breathe. You can send your hands up towards your hips. Or maybe sending hands towards your heart. So you are in Namaste here. Prayer pose. Then you open your arms and send your hands down to the ground. So you can also stay in this position throughout the whole time. You can bring soles of feet together, opening knees out, spreading arms out, reaching up with your hands towards your knees and placing hands at the heart center. Breathing in and out and opening arms, releasing down, hands down to the ground, spreading legs out. And from here, we are going to start releasing position. So instead of going down with one leg and with both legs, you go down with one leg. Yeah. Then you lift this leg up, find that balance, go back to your straddle and releasing the upper leg down. And coming back up. And now we are going to release both legs down. Yeah, so basically here, your feet are lifting off the ground automatically, your arms as well. Mm 
you can hold this balance. So those positions you can only do if you are ready for them, otherwise you can just keep your headstand with hands supporting you. And also be here. So make sure that you are not too far away from the wall, yeah? So it's easy to lift your legs up. Hands distance is probably enough or maybe slightly more than hands distance. To come off the position, you hold onto your leg and take a deep forward bend. Shoulders lift away from your ears. And then we're gonna hold onto the ankle of one leg. And hold onto the other ankle of the other leg. Relax head down. As you uh, go towards your left leg, you take a pyramid position. Well, let's head down towards your front leg. Give your back heel lifted or grounded. You can have thumbs beside your leg or on top of your leg. I quite like to have my back heel lifted. My hips are square, shoulders away from my ears. Inhale, exhale, lower back heel down and take a triangle pose you can have your left hand down or on top of your shin or inside of your front leg lowering top hand down and you reverse go towards the other side hands beside your leg back heel is lifted or grounded you can have thumbs on your shin or down on the ground hips are in line Inhale and exhale, release head down. Lower back heel down, right hand stays where it was, either on the floor outside, on your shin or inside of your front leg. Open up with your left arm, this up, arms in line. Inhale, exhale, lower hand down. And we are going to cross our leg. Send your right foot towards you. Keep sit bones rooted to the ground. Here, it can be by the wall. So your top of the body is nicely attached to the wall. Reaching out with your left hand. So it's the opposite arm to your front knee. Elbow to knee. And twist to your right side. Relaxing shoulders down. And reach out with your right hand. You can also release hand on top of your head. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release hand down. Release your arms. You're gonna switch direction. You place hands to your left side. Lift hips up. You're gonna turn around with your hips. Your feet stay where they were. And you cross your legs the other way. You are seated by the wall. Your left foot sent towards you. Keep seat bones rooted to the ground. The opposite arm, right arm comes up. Inhale and exhale, elbow to knee, push knee away. You are twisting spine to your left side, reach out with your left hand all the way up and maybe all the way back over your head. Keep pressing with your back to the wall. You're lifting yourself up. Inhale, reach up through your top arm. Exhale, release arm down. 
Now we're just gonna take a cross-like position. You can also sit in Padmasana or Lotus Pose. And still having back of the body attached to the wall. Palms in Prana Mudra, thumb and um, index fingers together to gather the energy. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through your mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth and relax. Hold your breath if you can. And release your breath whenever you feel like. Take a moment in your normal, with your normal breath. Taking advantage of having wall behind you to lengthen your body through the crown of the head, reaching out to the sky. And set up intention for your day to day towards something you would like to do. So if you are on your retreat, you're gonna do nothing but walking, doing exercises, reading, writing a book. If you want to work on the project, you're gonna work on the projects and have tasks for today. A little step by a little step towards your goal. And if you decide to meditate the whole day, just set up go for the meditation. And find gratitude for your practice, for being here and now, and for being able to have this time and do whatever you have never had a chance to do. Make it happen in your own way. Reach up with your hands towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, bring hands to your heart center. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Namaste. Have a nice day.